So this guy was part of one of the most lopsided trades in NHL history that benefited the Toronto Maple Leafs. When he came to uh, Toronto for Vancouver, a lot of pr pr people predicted big things for him because he was a highly uh, regarded junior prospect. Drafted fourth overall in the 78 entry draft by Vancouver. And when he ended up in Toronto in the Dave Tiger Williams trade, everybody in the big TO said, this could be one of the pieces we need to have a play good playoff run. Even though he never went far in the playoffs during his years, he put up some impressive numbers. Now, Billy Durlego, uh, born William Anthony Durlego in uh, Bertle, Manitoba, of course, was a multi-sport uh, star as a youth. He also uh, took part in golf, tennis, baseball, and, of course, ice hockey. Now, um, he came to a major prominence playing with the Brandon Wheat Kings after graduating from the Brandon and Travelers of the MJHL. His big season with Brandon was uh, 77 when he had 178 points in 72 games, and including additional 30 points in the postseason. But the next uh, season with Br Brandon, uh, which was his draft year, he scored 89 goals in 52 games, ladies and gentlemen, with 63 assists for 152 points and 22 points in the playoffs. Now, when he broke in with Vancouver, he scored 8, point, eight points, including 4 goals in 9 games, and he had some seizing in Dallas. First season in Vancouver, he had 11 goals and 15 assists, for uh, 26 points. Now, there's many reasons why the trade occurred. I think this is one of them. The Vancouver felt he was damaged goods. He lost most of his uh, 79 season to, an, uh, to a, a knee injury. Now, uh, the team was expecting him to score more, like 20 or 30 goals. But to trade him that, uh, that young, he was only uh, in his early 20s when Toronto traded him. So here was the deal again, ladies and gentlemen. Ricky Vive and Dorlego. Uh, for Tiger Williams and Jerry Butler. Now, uh, in Toronto, uh, uh, Derlego was raised to a star status by working particularly well with Vive. Now, uh, again, the media was on him, and uh, most of the English media felt he wasn't uh, producing enough for Toronto. Well, let's put this in perspective, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just look at it for a second. In the in the four of his five seasons in Toronto, he scored more than 30 goals. He scored 40 goals once. He had an injury plagues 83 season, but wasn't enough to, to trade him. They uh, ultimately uh, dumped him on Boston. For all people, Tom Fergus, a defensive player that never really hit the expectations. Uh, he only had a short while in Boston, ended up in the Winnipeg uh, Jets uh, program in, in 86 to end the season. And uh, he was actually turned into a, a defensive forward later on in his career on the third and fourth line. Now, uh, <coughs> towards the tail end of his career, he found himself actually back in Canada with the Quebec Nordiques. Now, 87 was a tough year. He only played 30 games with Quebec and uh, finished the season with a 16-game run with the Franklin Express. Now, uh, Derlego also spent time in Switzerland before his announcing retirement in 1988. Now, uh, he's been a car dealer after hockey, but I think basically the media expected so much from him because of, you know, if you score, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 210 goals in his last, your last two seasons of junior, you only score 30 goals in a pros, you're going to have somebody on his back. But well, we didn't really know how good he was because, again, Toronto would not make the playoffs uh, or he would not play in the playoffs. His playoff t totals were only based on how many games he played. He played 13 playoff games with five goals. That didn't show an indication how good he, good he could be. Toronto was good in the regular season, very good offensive team, but he couldn't put a string together to make the playoffs. So, final NHL totals, 416 points in 555 games including uh, 189 goals. Now, uh, obviously, he was inducted in the Manitoba Hockey Hall of Fame. Actually, I think the Manitoba Hockey Hall of Fame is just as good as the Hockey Hall of Fame because there's a lot of crossover. Now, uh, awards and achievements, again, no 77 and 78 season. Uh, he was the WCHL scoring champion, first All-Star, and goals leader in 77. Goals leader and second All-Star team in 78. I'd like to see who was named on the first All-Star team 
Ladies and gentlemen, at 78. Uh, if you can show a player better better than a Derlego with 89 goals in 52 games, i like to see it. Now, I don't really know exactly why Toronto didn't didn't uh, put up enough regular season wins to make the playoffs. They had enough of the players. Don't forget, John Anderson was still around. Daryl Sittler was around. Will Paymont was around. Uh, some of the holdovers from the late 70s, early 80s offensive teams. So, you know, when you score 300 goals and give up 300, that's the problem. You can be no more than a 500 team, and a 500 team doesn't make the playoffs. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening.